There is nothing like looking through a kaleidoscope and seeing all the beautiful colors. And this is Jeannie, and she is from Kaleidoscope Collections. And we have a project here involving a card, and we want you to guess what the picture is that you used, right? <laughs> yeah. First is the card here. And this is also on the darker background, too. Right. Just to show the difference. Same kind of card. Same exact card. What do we think we use there? Let's reveal a peacock, peacock. feather. Oh, it's so yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, but it looks completely different when you just focus right in on that. So we're going to be starting with some software to create both that patterned paper that's on the card as well as the focal point. Okay. So on the computer, I've got the photo open, and this is one wedge of a kaleidoscope, and it's the kaleidoscope we're going to use or the size we're going to use for the um, actual focal point. Now, if I click and drag outside the boundary of the photo, I can rotate. If I click and drag on the photo itself, I can move it around. If I click and drag on the corners, I can resize. The goal is to click and drag until you find the design you want because you can see it right. on the screen. Every time I move it, the design changes. Mm -hmm. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to print that out. Pretty good. It looks darn good. <laughs> I'm going to click right on the print. And this one is actually pretty small for this card, just 2.75 inches. And you'll notice that's really small on that big sheet. So I can either move it up to the left corner or I can actually change the size to a 4x6 if I wanted to do something like that. Printing it on a 4x6 card. Exactly. Okay. I like the idea of putting it in the corner because you could probably use the reuse the paper. Yep, mm -hmm. you can. And um, this is printed on glossy photo paper, that glossy particular photo. one. Now we have another thing that we have to do. So we're going to actually create that pattern paper. Go in and change the shape again. And this time, I'm going to fill it up. See if I can do this here. Just about like that. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Now, to create the pattern paper, we're going to use a print multiple function. And for this particular card, I know this is kind of a weird size, but I did it to fit. I'm going to do 1.625, 1 and 5 eighths inches. And I can fill up the entire page with this if I want. Um, for this card, I only need this much. But if I wanted to print an entire page, I could just keep clicking Add, and it would fill up the entire page. Okay. And then that prints out. And that I'm printing on flat paper. Okay. So there's no sheen to the paper at all. And we did this already. You did mm -hmm. this on four by six, and that was the glossy. What is this for, this transparency? Well, this one is, is interesting. This is the size I want to cut out, and I decided I wanted to try to visually see what part of the pattern I wanted to cut out. So this is just allowing me to move it around and determine what part I want to cut out. So I did that here. And I've got the two pieces that I'm going to do here. Just position like that and zigzag along those seams. And you like to break out your sewing machine. I do. And you <laughs> sewed along here. And we have some strands left over. No big deal. No big deal. We're just going to tape those to the back. That's a double-sided tape because then I can use that and then just tape it to the card base. So the double-sided tape works both ways. Right. And then I'm going to sew along the edges of that right onto the card base, which you can see here. Now I've got those loose. You can either add a drop of glue, let it dry and clip it, or you can weave it into the zigzag. But uh, you'll notice we've got something special here. We do. So here's the deal. I'm going to move this out of the way so sure. you can show us the special. We're going to cut that out, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add Spirelli. So I just tack some metallic thread that I bought at my local sewing store on the back with tape. And then in the um, valleys here, we come around. And you can decide exactly oh. how close in you want to get, how many you want to skip. So you could do and then, you know, go across the center or make it around the edge, but you can do whatever you want. And it adds just enough sparkle to it. Yep. And then tape it on the back. Add a little foam adhesive and go back to our card and you can see that it makes a nice uplift to the card. Absolutely. Okay, we have some more cards. Okay. Okay. So you use this and use the image, but you also have the paper that you created. Right. I like right. the idea of creating my own paper now using the kaleidoscope because you really don't know what you're going to get until you print it out. That's right. And then you have some other samples starting right. there. Right. And these obviously are, are more of a focal point card. And using a thicker thread, right. that kind of brings it out more. Yep. It almost looks like a window at a church. I mean, yeah. it's stunning. <laughs> Jeannie, beautiful job. Thank you. And we'll be right back.